Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we are learning different string methods, alright? I started with the blank HTML page and I've already linked my JavaScript file and it's inside of the JS folder called script.js. So I'm opening my script. You see I have a blank page here and I create a variable and I call it string. And I write inside of it I am a string for example. So we have different uh, string operate operations or methods or functions and to find something inside of a string that we have the index of the last index of and the search function so I say document.write so that we see what we find and then we have to call our variable to know where we ha where this function has to search so we say string this is the name of our variable and then we adds different uh, different uh, functions here. So I could say index of and I say a for example reloading my page and it says 2 because our index starts with 0 so i is 0 the blank space is 1 and the a is 2 alright So the same works for last index. So we say last index of reloading our page and the last a inside of this string is on po position 5. So i is 1, blank space is 2 or 1, then we have 2, 3, 4 and 5 is a. And index of and search function works the same. So if I'm reloading this page you get two because search and uh, index of works the same. So to extract something inside of a string we have a function called slice and we say for example the starting position is two and then we have the ending position and we say seven so we get ma okay then the substring function works the same way as the a slice function. So we have a starting value and the ending value. If we're reloading this page, nothing changes. I can say the ending value is 8, then we get a S here on this position, all right? Then we have the substr function. These this function works a little bit different because we have the starting value and not now not the ending value, not the ending index, uh, more the length of how many indexes it should uh, go further. So if we say 5 for example we get MA. Okay? And if I say 9 I got this. B not because I is the ninth position, more because from here to here it's nine characters, all right? So now we want to replace something inside of a string. So we have to replace function. Replace function. And inside of this replace function, we have two parameters. First parameter is what we want to replace, okay? So I say I am, and I would like to replace it with you are for example reloading my page and now string says not I am a string it says you are a string okay so if you want to put some strings together we can create a second string called variable string 2 and I make a explanation mark for example inside of here and to put two strings together we have the concat function and inside of the concat function we uh, uh, start with our string which we want to combine and then we say uh, with what we want to combine and then we take, uh, we take the second string. We simply could uh, put one string inside of here and say string 2 and it the, the first string is combined with the second string. But I could uh, do multiple strings inside of here, like this. 
separated by a comma, reloading my page, and you say string blah blah blah, blah explanation mark. All right, so now we understand this function. So the last function I want to show you is the split function, and this is really, really cool, okay? So for example, we have a uh, variable called uh, text, for example, and we have a, comma b, or a, b, c, d, e, all separated by these uh, lines here. And then we could simply say uh, text dot split. And now we say by what we want to split. So we say but this line, reloading our page, nothing shows up. But we could do like this if we say variable text two equals text split and now we let text two reloading our page nothing happens inspect a is not defined oh 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 i know this is a string so we need to s those uh, quotation marks reloading our page now we have a b c d but it is an array because if we say type of reloading our page it is an object because we know an array is an object so you could uh, uh, grab them separately and this is pretty awesome so now that's everything I wanted to show you about strings if you like it don't forget to give me a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button really hard and we'll see us in the next video. Bye.